Hello. Um, in my previous video, I was showing you guys how to work leads in Business Contact Manager. Um, those of you who are just watching this video and have not seen my previous video on working leads in Business Contact Manager, I am currently using um, Microsoft Outlook 2013 with Business Contact Manager 2013. Uh, and it's actually very similar to 2010. Don't feel like you don't have the same thing that I do. We actually have the very exact same build. Um, and uh, all I did was created a new entity called Cold Calls to separate my um, my leads from my uh, unknown people who are not really my leads. And what I want to focus here on this video is working with projects. Um, Business Contact Manager is not just used to work leads, but it's also used to manage uh, projects and opportunities and um, basically tracking uh, all communications in regards to particular projects and things that you're doing. So in this particular case, um, best way for me to demonstrate it to you is to first, your BCM probably does not have the cold calls tab. That's because I added it in there. The reason I did that is because suppose I have somebody named uh, James Smith who I never spoke to before. Um, I'm cold calling them or I have a person in my office cold calling them and eventually converting them uh, converting them into a lead. And what happens now is that James Smith is no longer um, a cold call, someone who never heard about my company, but is now one of my leads. And then let's say my uh, employee works this particular person and then converts him into a business contact. And the reason he did that is because now uh, James Smith is, um, in particular, he's a, he's a customer now. Now he's an actual customer and James Smith is working with a company and uh, let's say he is a partner at um, James Smith, uh, James Smith, uh, give it a name, uh, James Smith Company. Why not give it a very simple name? So I spoke with James Smith, and he has a company. His company is James Smith Company, and I'm going to go into accounts. I'm going to create a new account for him. And the account name is going to be James Smith Company. Very simple. I'm going to save and close this. So I'm going to go back to, um, I can actually do it directly from the company. I can just add him in here, um, here at James Smith Company. I'm just going to quickly add him in. He's my primary contact for this particular company. Again, I'm using a very uh, plain version of BCM. There's no special fields. There's no special nothing. This is exactly what you get as soon as you install uh, BCM on your Outlook. So now I have... Um, I have James Smith as a company. He's a, I can see that he's a partner, his job title, um, you know, and, and I can see the history. Um, right now, since we created this particular record, we don't really have a history, but we're going to get to that. I have a history in my other video where I displayed how history is used uh, to capture all communication between uh, you or a user and a particular person or you know individual or company but now that i have james smith here what i want to do is i want to right away i want to go to my tabs i want to add a new tab in here and i want to add um, business projects uh, to my uh, tabs and i'm going to call it let's say service i'm just going to give it a name called service and the service tab now becomes my business project tab so now that i have let's say my uh, business contact and my accounts now, let's say I'm, I'm in some form of business that does a, uh, my industry is servicing, um, I, don't, I can't give you a fictional company, I can't think off the top of my head, to be honest, but my company is performing services for this, I own a web design company, right? I said, let's do it, a web design company, and James Smith from James Smith Company contacted me and said, hey, I need a website. So I'm going to go and I'm immediately going to create on business project. I'm going to add a business project to this particular individual and this particular company. And the project name is going to be website. And I'm going to save and close this. And I'm going to um, save and close the account. And now under service, I now have my uh, project. And I see the status immediately. I could see whether it started or not. Um, you know, out of the box, BCM just kind of gives me the kind of feels that gives me the ability to track what it is that I'm doing. Um, and the project type, let's say, is going to be a website for this particular place. Um, let's say I, uh, I discussed with, um, with uh, James Smith, who's here. I'm going to actually add him and not just his company. Let me just go into business contacts and add him also as a contact. So the company in itself and for James, I'm actually doing this project for. Um, and let's say I decided that I'm going to start to work on this project 
on the 1st of August. And this project is due by September 1st. That is 39 days from now. I actually have a countdown. I'm able to actually see how many days it's going to be um, when this particular project is due. It gives me a nice visual. Uh, the project status is not yet started, and the priority right now is normal. Uh, and I'm going to save and close this again. Again, I'm continuously saving and closing just to show you uh, the steps of how this particular thing works. So we have now a project, and now we can start adding tasks. So let's say I have a graphic designer who works with me. I also have an SEO specialist who works with me who's going to put him on Google. Uh, and then there is me. I'm the one who's in charge of buying his domain and uh, doing all this other things for him. So naturally I'm going to customize this form, but I'm not going to do that right now because it's going to take too much of my time, but I can add in here what the budget is, um, you know, how much in particular uh, he's looking to spend, um, the type of things that he may require, uh, and I can actually start by creating now tasks. So I'm going to create new project tasks, and one of the tasks that I'm going to create is uh, purchase a domain name. And I want to save and close this. And I'm going to add another project task in here. And I'm going to say this particular project task is um, build layout. And I'm going to save and close this. And I'm going to add another project task. And I'm going to call this particular task uh, get graphics. And I'm going to add, let's say, one more task. And I'm going to say uh, publish on major search engines. And that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. So these are all my tasks, and now I have an actual outline of what it is that I need to particularly do for this company or this individual. Um, and I can actually start working on this particular project. Let's say I have multiple employees. They all have access to BCM, so everyone can see the same thing. In the morning, they come to work. We can create them a, a, a specified filter or a list of what to work on. And immediately, we could see in the, in the quick view pane, uh, we have four incomplete tasks that are required in order to get this project going. Usually the project manager, whoever's in charge in the company, um, and this fictional company will be me, uh, will be creating these tasks, and then my employees will have to carry them on. Uh, and I'll give them different due dates, what has to get done first, um, you know, etc. So now that I have these tasks, I'm ready to get started on this project, and I'm going to say this project is now in progress. And uh, priority still stays normal, and we can begin. I'm going to save this, and, and you'll see immediately, immediately, it's going to update our, our panel here for all our users to be able to see that the project website for this particular company is now starting. Um, again, this is all customizable. We can add in here who this project is for. We could filter it. We could do multiple things. We can show only high priority projects. Uh, we could show lower priority. You know, things of that nature. So now that we have our tasks in here, we have exactly an outline of what it is that we need to do, and we can capture another history for this entire project. Um, suppose I go on GoDaddy.com, and I go and I purchase a domain name, uh, and I'm going to click on this particular task. I'm going to add a timestamp in here, and I'm going to say GoDaddy.com, account number uh, 1234567, um, password is blah, 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 and I'm going to pretty much note down information of what I want and I'm going to add in here another timestamp and I'm going to say purchased um, I want to say purchased and let me go back here and I'm going to say James Smith company dot com that's it done simple as that uh, I could even say that it's in progress if I'm looking to uh, to get this going I could see immediately that I'm in progress of doing this so when uh, James Smith calls me and says hey Elon by the way how's my uh, website going I can open up his project and I could see all oh, right I see that we're still in the process of getting the domain name um, I can open it up read the details to him etc let's go back on the company end now and let's mark this project as complete because I just received uh, the information for this project so now it is complete is 100% complete uh, and this task, one of my tasks, is now complete. So I'm going to save and close this, uh, and let's reopen it. And you'll see here that immediately we have a, a filter here that shows us that one out of four tasks is now complete, and we have uh, already finished phase one, and now we can begin with phase two, which is build a layout. Uh, and this will be someone in my company who will be working on this. I can actually select a user. Right now, I'm the only user in this database, but I can select the name of the employee who's in charge of this. Um, and this pro this this is a, a task linked to this particular project. 
um, you know, we can uh, add multiple fields in here, like uh, details, how many hours it took us to do this, actual work, etc. These are all uh, vanilla, pre-built, very simple fields in inside um, BCM. Uh, we can even mark something that it needs attention. We can even create an Outlook reminder to actually remind us uh, layout, let's say add a timestamp, uh, and say layout is due tomorrow. Uh, no, layout is due, let's say, next week even. You know why I'm saying next week? Because I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select next week. Remind me in at 10.30 a.m. Um, and I can select different sounds. I'm going to get a pop-up. It's going to remind me that this layout is due by next week. But we never want that to happen uh, because we want to have this layout done even faster. Um, so the status of this is going to be waiting on somebody else. Uh, and the percent complete in here, let's say, is 25% complete. And I'm going to save and close this. Uh, our project pretty much is getting there. Uh, pretty much is getting there. So what am I really showing you here? I'm showing you how I'm using BCM to basically track what what it is, what service, uh, what, what particular thing it is that I'm doing here uh, with this person. Um, so this, this project is clearly in progress. You'll see here again, I have a, a business contact right here, uh, James Smith. I could just pull him up by searching his name. I can look at his history, I can see what, what's been happening in his history, but that's not really uh, what I'm mostly interested with. I'm interested in looking at the particular account, and when I click on the account, uh, immediately I can see the tasks that are happening here, um, you know, when they were created and when they're due, uh, and what are completed. You'll see here the little, little icons here that display the progress of this project. So everything is very nice and organized for me, because now, I don't have to scuffle and search through papers. I could just click on this particular company. I can read information about it. Um, I can look at the history of everything that's been happening here with this company. I could see here, uh, you know, by the day and date and time exactly what's going on. Um, I can easily go into my service tab, tab which I renamed from projects, uh, and I can open up the project and I can click in the history of this particular project. Uh, and I could see any communications, emails that I sent out. If I click on email, it's going to automatically create an email, but um, there's no email address specified with the account, so I have no one to send this email to. But if I did have an email address and I did send it, it would automatically track it and keep, keep a back and forth of all of our communication and all corresponding communication. Um, again, I can create appointments, meeting requests. Uh, I can even create phone logs, and I was, I was hinting at that earlier. Phone logs are very important. Um, more than anything, I think phone logs are the most important because when you speak to someone about something, you always want to note that you spoke to them and you want to have a record of that. And it's very important because sometimes when a customer calls you, you can get too caught up in what you're currently doing and you kind of forget what you did two or three days ago. You know, little tiny details. It's always the things that are missed. Uh, and, and that's the reason for human error more than anything. So when I create a phone call about this particular project, I just can just click on phone log and the phone log button I can create uh, a subject for this call and this call was a follow-up um, and I'm gonna pick a subject and I'm gonna say it was a follow-up uh, and I'm just gonna type in here just following up and uh, the timer again I'm not just gonna activate it I'm gonna say that I was on the phone for about 30 minutes following up at 9.52 p.m. on this Wednesday now I'm gonna save and close this uh, and save and close this as well now when I look at this particular thing here, this the website, I can actually add in here what the history is of this, um, you know, what, his, what what communication action I've taken uh, by adding communication history, and I can see right now that for this particular project there is a, a follow-up phone call or a support call or a question, um, and I can easily just open that communication up and say, oh hey yeah we spoke uh, at 9:52 p.m. and uh, you know I was just following up. So that's really what I was hinting at, and you'll see here everything is tracked, and tracking is extremely important because someone has to be held liable when something is not done um, efficiently or on time. So it's very, very important, uh, very important to be able to track things. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, very, very, hey, I'm going to mark this as a fixed fee project. I just noticed it was missing here in project type, and now it's back in there. Uh, and at the end of the day, I'm looking to complete all of my tasks, and that is really the job. Um, and attention required, yes, I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to mark everything complete right now uh, because I, I'm uh, just about to finish the project. So we built the layout, uh, we got the graphics, we put everything together, everything's completed. 
Um, we even went and we got the guy up on uh, Google. That's the very last thing that we're doing. We can keep track of this as well. Um, and I'm going to mark this also as completed. Our project is now 100% complete. I've finished it. I have completely finished it. It is it is done. It's going to actually automatically change to 100 when it is completed. Uh, but you'll see here, <laughs> it's, it's really cool the fields that they added here automatically. I really like that. It's actually very nice. Um, but you can always edit lists here and add your own statuses. You know, depends on what your industry is. Every industry has a different vocabulary and different terms. Um, and that's it. So I can save and close this. And now it is now crossed out. A little green check next to it. I am completely done. Now in the future, any time I deal with this particular account, um, I have a, a total history of everything that was done. I could say, oh, I see that last year we did a website for you, and this is what went on, and I see here all the phone calls we had, and here's all the tasks that we did, and the time that we spent on it, and it's very good because we can run reports, uh, again, and add multiple things in here. Very, 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 very cool. Uh, that we can do all this and, and this is how we can track projects and, and different types of service calls and different unique kind of things uh, inside BCM. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video and uh, I hope this kind of gives you ideas because you can implement this into any industry. That's how cool this is and uh, it beats the heck out of using pen and paper um, and it's so super organized, time efficient um, and just great. Uh, and that's it. So I will conclude the video with this um, and thank you for watching again, and I uh, appreciate your time, um, and again to all my, my viewers, thank you, I thank you from the bottom of my heart from, for listening to me and, and learning from me, and thank you for all the kind emails you guys have been sending, uh, and all the questions, I really try to get to everybody as best as I can, with as much as I can, um, but thank you again, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will try and provide more content, um, we surpassed over 1.5 uh, million views about, I believe. And that's all thanks to you guys. So thank you again. And have a great week. And keep on doing the right thing. Bye.